Hello ladies and gentlemen, let's look at section 5.6, the rational zeros theorem. Now just a reminder, everyone does have access to a calculator through your computer. Okay, if you need to, um, you can access it on Moodle, which you're on right now. Okay, so calculator on Moodle. Just a reminder, let me go to Moodle, okay? So again, you can go here, let me get on. Go to the calculator underneath the book. All right, and preparing for tests, standalone calculator, 11th grade, start start and right here in the middle there's your calculator so everybody has access to this calculator all right now we're going to use our calculator to assist us with this problem first of all i am going to look for possible solutions all right so to find possible solutions I am going to take the constant and list out all the factors. Positive negative one, positive negative 36. Positive negative two, positive negative 18. Positive negative three, positive negative 12. Positive negative four, positive negative nine and positive negative six, positive negative six. So those are all possible solutions to this problem. All right, so I'm going to use my calculator to help me figure out which one. Now it might tell me more than one. So you still have to, ladies and gentlemen, you still have to be able to show your work. No work no credit okay you cannot just write answers all right so you could guess and check if you want okay but if you guess wrong it could take a little bit of time so we're going to use our calculator we're going to go in clear out any problem that's in there and type in the problem that we're on so we've got x to the third power so again your exponent is above the divide sign so x to the third uh, if you've got a new fancy calculator you got to hit your right arrow key all right next we have minus 4x squared minus 9x plus 36 all right now, if your calculator is already set up, you can just hit the graph button. Wow, cool. I can see all three answers right there on my screen. Okay. If your calculator does not look like that, try Zoom 6. Okay, that should put your screen back to normal. All right, so I can already see all three solutions, but again, I must show work. Okay. All right, so let's see what we got here. I'm going to go ahead and use the negative 3. I'm going to start with the negative 3. So negative 3. That is one of my solutions. All right, here we go. So I'm going to bring the 1 down. I'm going to multiply. I'm going to add. I'm going to multiply. I'm going to add. I'm going to multiply. And I have to end up with a 0. Okay, I must end up with that zero. Okay, now what? Well, now I'm going to rewrite this just like what we did on number five and six. I'm going to rewrite this as x squared minus 7x plus 12. I'm going to set it equal to zero. All right, I'm going to factor it. So factors of, now factors of 12 that add up to negative seven, well, negative three and negative four. So 
So my other two solutions are positive 3, which I could see already on the calculator, and positive 4. All right, and don't forget to put the other one down with those. So the three solutions are 3, 4, and negative 3. Now, the calculator is not always going to show you all three solutions or all of the solutions, okay? If they're integers, it will. But remember, not all of them are going to be integers, okay, which we will see with number 8. All right, here we go. So number 8, so some of the possible solutions, again, these are just some of them. I'm not going to list all of them. Positive negative 1, positive negative 20. Positive negative 2, positive negative uh, 10. Positive negative 4, positive negative 5. Okay, there are actually others that we probably could list, okay, because there's a lead coefficient of 2, but I'm not going to go into that. All right, so here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up. Again, I don't need any zeros. And now I'm going to use my calculator and find a zero. So let's see, we've got 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus 17x plus 20. Let me double check to make sure that that is correct. Yep. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and hit graph. And it looks like, oh, I see the one on the left is going to be a fraction because it's not going exactly on an integer. So looking, I think I'm going to go ahead and use 1. Looks like 1 is a solution, and it also looks like 4 is a solution, but I'm going to go ahead and do 1. I'm going to use 1. So I'm going to pick 1. All right, here we go. Bring down the 2, multiply, add, multiply, add, and multiply. Yep. So 1 definitely is a solution, which the calculator shows. Again, we need to end up with 0. All right, so what do I have now? I've got 2x squared minus 3x minus 20. I'm going to set that equal to 0. All right, now some of you may not like the box method, but I'm going to go ahead and use the box to factor this. All right, you do not have to use the box. If you can factor this without the box, that's fine. But I'm going to, all right, because that's what I prefer. I don't like guess and check very much. All right, <clears throat> so how does the box work again? So the first term goes in the upper left. The third term goes in the bottom right. Okay, I multiply the two corners together, I get negative 40. All right, so I multiplied the first and the third term together. The middle term is a negative 3. So what I need to do now is I need to find factors. Move this down a little. I need to find factors of negative 40 that add up to negative 3. Well, let's see. I know 4 and 10, but nope, that's not going to work. Okay, what else do I have? 2 and 20? No, 2 and 20 is not going to work. All right, what else do I have? Ah, 8 and 5. All right, I think 8 and 5. So it looks like I need it to be negative 8 and positive 5. Okay, that will add up to negative 3. All right, so negative 8 and 5. So I'm going to go ahead and put a negative 8x here and a 5x here. All right, so what do I got going here? So the GCF of the top two is x, okay? That's what they have in common, greatest common factor. 
The bottom two, keeping the sign closest to the edge, is negative 4. So one of my factors is x minus 4. Okay, now the left two boxes going up and down, left two boxes, I've got 2x. And the right two boxes, I have plus 5. So that's my other factor, 2x plus 5. That's the one that's going to give me the fraction answer. Set that equal to 0. All right, here we go. So one of the solutions, I already knew 4 was a solution, right, from the calculator. Okay, and then this solution is negative 5 over 2. Set it equal to 0 and solve for x. Now don't forget the first solution that we started with is 1. All right, so those are the three solutions to that polynomial. All right, that's section 5.6. Good luck.